absolutely crackers look you get what you pay for but this is just not for me i'm going i am leaving this place now today we are staying in a cheap bnb in blackpool a sunny seaside town in the northwest of england and we're staying at the Jesmond International on Charlie Street or Charlie Road. And why not stay in a cheap B&B? So stick around to find out how much it actually is. The guy gave us some keys for the door, I think. So, I'm better trying then. Yes. Well, first impressions. It's very yellow, as you can see, the lighting is not ideal. And it is very small, but for the price, you can't argue. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the room, and then we're gonna go out and find a kebab. I am absolutely shattered. So after a little walk and a kebab, I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna get into the nighttime routine. And I'll tell you a little bit about how much it is and what the facilities offer and stuff like that. So yeah, stick around to the end. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, show some love and help this channel grow. It's not the best room in the world, but for the price, it's like, it's somewhere to get your head down. It really is just somewhere to get your head down. If you're coming to Blackpool on a night out, or you just want, and you just want something cheap, you know, there's plenty of options. And at different times as well, I'm gonna turn that light off, and at different times as well, you can, you can get rooms for even cheaper than this one, which is a bonus. What we're gonna do now is, is get sorted, get freshened up. I'm gonna put a pair of jeans on and a new t-shirt. And we're just gonna go and have a wander and see if we can speak to some of the locals, see if we can get some good advice on where can we get the best kebab. A few moments later. So we've just ordered an Uber and we're gonna to go to a place called Romero's Blackpool. It's got a rating of 4.7 with a fair few reviews. There's a few there that's got like 4.9, but only two reviews. Views. So we're gonna get an Uber down there because it's a good 30 minute walk. Catch you when we get down there. Hey buddy, okay? Yeah, good, good. Oh, I just... Romero's Bond Street, please. So we're here, in the background you can see Romero's, it was about a five minute Uber ride from the hotel and we've picked up a nice doner kebab as usual, everywhere we go we get a doner kebab don't we, but also we treated ourselves to a hot wing meal and a garlic bread with cheese with tomato sauce on just like the Domino's, look at that. <laughs> my mouth's watering, my mouth's just watering, just looking at it. Oh, we'll give this a little go. Mmm. Mmm. That's a nice pizza, though. 
That is a nice pizza though. So employee of the month told me to give him a shout out, Rabil in Romero's. What a top with a bunch of lads in there. We've got a, a really good operation going. Very cleanly as well. Wow. That's some of the best pizza I've had in a long time. You like me? Got a little bit of a bit of an audience. <laughs> but that's a decent bit of kit that. Wow. So far, so good. So I wanted to try the chips. So I thought we'd get a little bit of a selection. And we'll get some hot wings while we were here. See what they're like before we tuck into the Donner kebab. But nice crunchy exterior. Mm. Decent bit of kit, that, to be fair. Mm. Mm. Decent wings. Try a little bit of the garlic sauce, see what that tastes like. Mm. A decent chip as well, to be fair. Well, they're not failing to impress. They're definitely living up to that 4.7 rating. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Let's tuck into this, this Donner kebab and see what this is like. Oh, oh, oh. It's looking decent, isn't it? It's looking like a decent bit of kit. Well, we got some sheesh as well, some beef sheesh. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. That beef sheesh is out of this world. <clears throat> the chili sauce isn't like how I'd like it, but it's tasty, it's fruity. <laughs> And to be fair, the Donna meat's decent as well. Mm. Wow. <laughs> That's a decent bit of kiss. Fucking. Fucking not. Honest to God. Just walking by the camera, brushes, brushes you like, like they're gonna take it or something. Some people, honestly, God, just have you just, they just <laughs> mental. But I'm telling you, yeah. Watch a bit of Netflix and scram this food. And again, if you haven't already, go on, hit that subscribe button. Help your boy grow. Help the channel grow. And I appreciate every single one of you, so I just want to thank you for that. And I just want to give a big shout out to Romero's, because again, the food is absolutely gorgeous. So if you're ever in back Blackpool, get yourself down here and pick up some of this tasty food. I'll see you back at the hotel. So we're here, back in the room. What are my thoughts on this room? Well, first and foremost, it cost £20 for the night. There are times here where you can pick up a and b for around about £13 for a night. Unfortunately, with all the kids being off school, £20 was the cheapest we could find. And what do you get for £20? Well, you get a room, no shower, no, you've got sinks in the corner, you get a chest of drawers, a kettle, wardrobe, you get a nice cracks in the wall, you get brown stain behind the pillow. I don't know what's happened there, haven't got a clue. And you get a, <laughs> like a 1970s rug, that's probably worth a lot of money, it's vintage. And a little bog standard heater if it gets cold, but it's warm at this time of the year here now, so I don't think we're going to need the heater on. It's great, isn't it? £20. £20 English pound. What? 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 
you know, what do you expect if you pay that much for a, for a place to stay? What do you expect? You know, so, you know, we've got a little flat screen TV as well. What more could you ask for? We've had a good pizza shop there from Romero's. What a, and what a fantastic bit of kit that was. But I'll let you know in the morning how I slept, how it was. But up to now, it is what it is for, for the price that you pay. It's not the Ritz Carlton, I'll tell you that. I haven't even been there, to be honest, but we'll get there one day. It's absolutely crackers. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see me do more like this, drop us a comment, let, give us a few give us a few suggestions, give us some um, inspiration. But until the next one, take it easy. I swear to God, it's gone past 12 midnight. And I've dozed off and I've woke up to what I can only explain someone being murdered. I can hear kids screaming. I've heard about seven different languages. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. Oh my days. Absolutely crackers. I'm going to stick my headphones in and I'm going to try and get my head down because I've got a busy day tomorrow. Absolutely crackers. And I swear to God, I keep hearing someone like it's someone's having a wee outside my window. Absolutely crackers. You really do get what you pay for. Absolutely mental. Absolutely crackers. So I've decided it's not for me. I, there's no way I can sleep here. There's not a chance. It is, it is absolutely crackers. Look, you get what you pay for. But this is just not for me. I'm going. I am leaving this place now.